This is horror, some market it as a thriller, but what about Jaws? That's a creature animal. Hello there and welcome back to another episode of Halloween in January 4 with me. I am your host Dr. Vise of Flip and this is the last day before I take my weekend break. So what have I got for you today? Well, today I thought I would review the Stephen King based classic Cujo. This is based on the Stephen King novel of the same name, starring Dee Wallace and the Saint Bernard. So basically, if you know the story, it's this family-friendly Saint Bernard who gets infected with rabies after being bitten by a bat and then turns into a vicious, non-foaming but raging animal that terrorizes the small farm. So, let us get to the likes and the dislikes about this one. First of all, my likes. I like Dee Wallace in this. She did a fine performance playing her character. And also, I liked the dogs they had for this. Oh yeah, they didn't just have one St. Bernard. They didn't have two. They had quite a lot of them. Including a stunt double which was a human in a dog costume. And they had a few dummy dogs. Um, you know, but... It must have been hard work doing it because in, in one part they were originally going to use a, um, a, you know, a German Shepherd because they're easier to work with. But Stephen King was like, no, if you don't do St. Bernard, we got no deal. So they went ahead with the St. Bernard thing. And we want to say, Stephen King really is dedicated when it comes. I guess after seeing Stanley Kubrick's The Shining, he thought, no, if I'm seeing another book, to films, no, I want it to be St. Bernard. So yeah, he did that. Um, so yeah, what else did I like? Well, I like the horror elements in there. Some people don't put this as horror, some marketed it as a thriller. But what about Jaws? That's a creature animal film, and that is marketed as horror from time to time. So Kujo, I say, is definitely got horror in it. It's written by one of the fine masters of horror, the book. Uh, so what else did I like? Um, yeah. Do you know that this film, when they were filming and uh, Dee Wallace and the boy were stranded in the car, that was filmed in the winter time. Very cold. And they had to act very hot. And of course, they couldn't put uh, heating on in the car during filming because of the sound interference. But between takes, they kept warming up. Uh, but, but yeah, it was very cold when they were filming that. Uh, other things. Uh, well, I think that's pretty much it for those likes. My dislikes, I can't say the same for a majority of the film. Uh, now, it is a slow burner because, you know, rabies does develop slowly. Um, I should know being a doctor. Uh, it does develop slowly. So we sort of see him go from this family pet all the way to this vicious animal. There was one scene where Kujo's owner finds Kujo in the fog and he's very close to being fully developed in rabies but there's that little ounce of him in there 
that manages to resist one last time, and that is quite a heartbreaking scene, I must admit. Um, but, yeah, it was a slow burn, and then the middle act I kind of found a bit boring, with D. Wallace and the boy stranded in a car. Uh, you know, it's a slow film, but the payoff is quite worth it, because, you know, there are a lot of horror elements. I like the horror in this, okay? I do, I like the horror, I like the violence, but the majority of the film I do find slow in my opinion. And I'm not such a huge fan of slow burns, but uh, this one I found horrible because I did like the results we got in the end. You know? Uh, so, yeah. Um, mind you, despite this film, I remember it stayed with me quite a while. You know, the heartbreaking horrors of, you know, of a dog going friendly friendly to vicious and nasty. You know, I just... You know, that sting, I thought with the memory of that film sting with me, I thought this has some effect. It does. You know, if the after effects of that has an effect on you and it stays with you mentally, I find that's worth talking about. Yeah, really worth talking about. So, uh, so my final thoughts and ratings. I thought Yokujo is a classic. Uh, but it's just not the kind, I mean, I watch it if it's on, but, you know, it's just quite slow, you know, um, so yeah, um, so yeah, this wasn't for me, so I'll give it a free, free scalpers out of five. So, that has been Halloween in January 4, day 25. So, if you liked this video, be sure to give it the big thumbs up, share with your friends, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and to hit the notification bell, because it would really help this channel if you do. Um, yeah, so be sure to do all that. Uh, all the social media links are down below in the description, so be sure to check all that out and more. So, yeah, I will see you on Monday for... Wow. It's actually the final week next week, you know? scary that how fast this month has gone by but i'm sure random horror can give us another season if we ask i don't know anyway yeah till till, till monday i bid you all hold here to say goodbye yeah